Hello, 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 you guys, and welcome to The Real Tea, where we truly educate you, you, yes, and even you. I am your girl, Contrice, from The Tea with The Tea, coming to you each and every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, with that good game for your brain. And I'm so glad that you decided to join us on tonight. Not only do we have The Tea, but also, we brought that flavor that may make you sing flavor tonight. The Real Tea is presenting All Taste and See, one man's quest to let what tastes best right here and now. Newport Beach graces the Real Tea's platform. So get ready, get set. We're coming into your homes, your cars, wherever you are tonight, we have something in store for you. Now I need everybody under the sound of my voice to do something for me. Turn up the volume because my guest tonight, he truly has a story to tell. Now remember, sharing is caring. If you're viewing through the broadcast or Facebook Real Tea page, Please like and share and follow. It's that simple. And if you're viewing on the Real Tea YouTube channel, please like, share, and subscribe. So then each time the Real Tea begins to brew more tea, yes, you'll receive those notifications so that you can join who? Your girl treats for tea on today or any day on the replay. And now, you guys, for our featured tea of the week, and yes, I'm talking about the tea that you drink. I have purple acai, acai tea. I couldn't pronounce it for nothing. I tried and tried. Acai berry. Um, it is like a grape-like fruit harvested from uh, acai palm trees, which are native in the rainforest of South Africa, like other berries. I say acai berries. Now they contain like antioxidants and fiber. Uh, the type of tea it, it is derived from pink tea leaves, which are then combined with purple um, acai and blueberries. Now that produce a unique and perfect flavor for you. Um, and really, it's really tasty. I'm telling you, our mind is always. Y'all know I steep for a little while before the show. Uh, so, uh, and some of the benefits uh, of our is has caffeine. So it does help you to wake up a good energy booster. It's an immunity booster as well. And y'all know with all of the viruses and things of that nature, a society may not be too bad to try. Um, heart health is supposed to help you lose weight. Um, hydration offers mental relaxation, prevent, it's said to even pre uh, prevent cancer. So for more information, you guys can go and visit Dr. Health Benefits dot com and when you go there you'll be able to find um all of the rest of the benefits of the tea there so if you're looking uh for a nice healthy drink healthy tea definitely try the asaya it's wonderful it's very good and y'all know i have my tea every week so the, it's also made by lipton too and I got mine from Walmart, of course. Y'all know that's my favorite store. But anyway, yes, you can find it right at Walmart or any of your local grocery stores. And now for a glimpse of our feature business of the week. Now, if you're looking to have your business featured on our show, please email jointrees 4 t at gmail.com. You want to go ahead and add the name of your business, any pictures that's associated with your business, any information that's associated with your business, and we'll be sure to get your business right on. You know, the realty loves to support. And we'll be right back after these messages from Crease Collection. You guys enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. It's not Crease Collection. I'm sorry. It's called Luscious Wear. I don't know. I love y'all. know I love Crease Collection. <laughs> but tonight it is Luscious Wear. Y'all guys enjoy.
Yes, you guys. I love that luscious wear commercial. The lady has everything looks like from eyelashes to lipstick, you name it, they have it. So if you're looking for those types of items, definitely contact Teresa McClinton via Facebook page. Facebook, I'm sorry. And you'll definitely be able to get that. Now, 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 it is time. It is time, you guys. Our guest tonight is a barrel of fun. He can make a pancake look great. A hot dog look like a steak. His personable and charismatic spunk has landed him a spot on the mainframe in the state of Virginia, spreading all over the world via social media platform. Please welcome to the Real Tea platform, Mr. Yamo Bucko. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. I was so excited. I'm telling you, I said, I can't wait to get a chance to see that smile face to face. <laughs> you a buckle buddy. <laughs> yes, I'm a buckle buddy. I watch you all the time. And I said, you know what? I have to get to talk to him up close and personal, though. Really, I think you are absolutely awesome. I really, really do. I watch you all the time. I've never seen anyone make food. So I mean, like, I'm not even hungry before I start watching it. I'm like, the first commercial, the first show I ever watched was you were eating chicken gizzards from Chicka C and you had just left church. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That is funny. <laughs> Yes. So you definitely do an awesome job by being so uplifting. And I really, really like that. I'm an uplifting person as well. So one, you know, can agree with the other. And so that is why you are here, my dear. <laughs> I appreciate you. I like, I like your, uh, your thing with the real tea. Yes. See, I like yes. sweet tea. And some of my friends, they like, they, they don't like tea. And then you got other people that be like, well, what is tea? Because you know when people want to die. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you know how a lot of times people say, I don't mean no harm, but before they, that's normally what they say before they proceed to, you know. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Some people thought um, at the beginning when I very first started, when I got into the industry, they really thought, well, tea, that was gossip. But no, my tea is truly educating another. And I, I educate. Um, I am yes. entirely too old to gossip, number one. But we have enough of that <laughs> in the world, I believe. <laughs> So I enjoy doing what I do right now, and that's educate. So tell us who you are. Tell us who you are. Okay, how you all guys doing? Um, my name is Jamil Spalding, and I do food blogging. I have a bigger following on Facebook. Yummo Bucko is the name of my food blog, and basically, uh, Yummo Bucko is an expression for good food. Now, I feel like we already have like a negativity on, you know, that goes viral. And what I like to do is to be able to promote mom and pop places, uh, restaurants, in particular food trucks and certified chefs, you know? And the thing that I like about what I do is people that watch my videos, they, a lot of times they haven't heard about these particular establishments if I hadn't did a review. And so I feel like there's a three win, there's a threefold win in what I do. When I do a review for the restaurant, it brings business to the restaurant, gives spotlight to them. Then number two, my followers, which I call bucko buddies, um, they get to experience something that they, you know, may not have tried had they not seen my video. And then thirdly, I get to the perks of doing something that I enjoy doing. You know, I always say that um, something I learned a long time ago was whatever was whack to another person can be another person's gold mine. And so I just, I just stick with it. So that's what I do. Oh, with the tea, come on with that good tea. I know you had some. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. Um, sometimes I stick with more with the blogging only because you know I didn't go to school for any like culinary terms or whatever. But I will say this: 
I was taking pictures. I'll tell you my age. We might be around the same age. Your mama Blackberry? <laughs> yes. Yes. I used, be, I, used be, I used to be in a restaurant taking pictures of my food with the Blackberry. So that had to have been about 2008, 2010. And yeah. so again, I would do videos, but a lot of people don't know it, but I took television communications for two years when I was in high school at the Botex Center. And so I've been doing, I have had my page for four years, March 6th, 2017. I started my Yummo Bunko page on Facebook and mm -hmm. then you know, um, that's been going ever since then. So really I tell people, sometimes people didn't just really blow up overnight. A lot of us, even like you, you probably been doing what you was doing for a while, you know, before you started, you know. Right, right. So I'm about four years on social media strong. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, the pandemic brought about a lot of change um, in the industry. Um, I was amazing. You know, I really didn't. I started out doing a video um, about a subject. I was just talking and uh -huh. the real tea was literally born. Um, you know, I felt that people were um not i mean they didn't watch the news to know what was going on you know and things of that nature and sometimes the only book that people pick up is facebook they don't you know or yeah. or educate themselves at all and so that's where i came in that was to educate okay. and that's exactly what i do um you know and like you said it's a lot of negativity out there and i just come to embrace and provide people with some sort of you know, embracement to, to give them some attention and give them the things that, that they need outside of something that's negative. I got so tired of watching those videos where people were fighting and people were recording it. You know, I thought that, are you kidding? All the stuff we could be doing. Oh, and they're and they, and they recording, not even helping. Yes, you're not even helping. So you just versus the person who's fighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I promise you that's how the real team was born. It really, really was. So I know, you know, like yourself, I follow you and, you know, I, I watch how you've grown over the time. And that's all that happens. If you continue to plant those seeds and you put water on them, they're going to what? Grow. And that's so, what so, you, so you've been with me through my clapback stages. You yeah, have to do what we do. That's yeah. a real thing. You need to have a big pen. What me and Miss Catrice do, did I say your name right? Yes. What me and Miss Catrice do is not for the faint at heart. But right. when you love what you do and you do what God put in you, mm -hmm. hey. Yes. Come on. That's the tea. Come on with the tea. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on with that good old yeah, yeah. tea. Funny. Yes. You know, for a very long time, I always wanted to ask you this. Do you have a favorite food that you like? Come on, Miss Catrice, you are a buckle buddy. You know what my favorite is. <laughs> I want you to tell them. Eating <laughs> crab legs in a seafood <laughs> bowl. And followed <laughs> by a what? <laughs> Coca-Cola. <laughs> I got some in my fridge. I love king crab legs, mm -hmm. and I love, uh, I like pasta. I like noodles. I don't do as many videos on it, but I really like a lot of noodle stuff, you know, okay. ramen or uh, pho. I was calling it pho for a long time, but it's really pho. pho. Right. Yeah, so. Okay, okay, real good. Yeah, I knew that because I just wanted to ask the people, can't be busting me out. No, no I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> I love your energy. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So tell me this. What is the strangest or different type of food that you ever eaten or you critique? I did. I went with my cousins to this particular restaurant, fine dining restaurant, last Friday, and I had frog legs. And they were uh -oh. not cooked the way that most people said that they were cooked. So when I ate them, the meat was falling off the bone and it was like wet. No. It, they said it's supposed to be fried hard, but it was. Uh, and because they weren't cooked right, and check this out, my cousin asked for them to, to send it back. They sent it back. And how we know they just refried the ones that they did is because they sent her back four. They supposed to come with six. So they pretty much told them <laughs> and put the buffalo sauce on the side. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know about you, 
But my experience sometimes, I think a lot of stuff being mental. And yeah. so I'm picturing, you know, like Kermit the Frog or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I think because I had that bad experience, I don't know if I want to be open to try frog legs again. But people oh, said wow. you should try them in other areas, you know, being safe for online. I'll mm -hmm. tell you all the camera what areas they talk about. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that had to be a uh, uh, very. I mean, person personally, anything that you eat. Um, if I get chicken, um, and the chicken is not, it's wet like that. Like I, I don't like it either. Yeah. So I understand what you're saying. So definitely, you were eating frog. I could not imagine eating. I'm just picturing going ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that little thing, uh, yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, like I, I've been trying to expand my palate though, because with having so many followers, mm -hmm. they gonna want to see me eat more than just chicken sandwiches from. Yeah, you know. Yes. So. Yeah, you make though anything look very, very good. That's the, what the rumor is. What I be doing though? Yeah, you. I'm telling you, it's. I don't know if it's the way you haul the food. I uh, saw you eating some hot dogs the other day that your father cooked. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I want some of that hot dog. Look, mm -hmm. I cooked some corn. I burnt that thing on one side just to see what was going to happen. <laughs> how, how was it? Was it your Bucko? It was your <laughs> My you friend, you yeah. Huh? Do you cook? Yes, I'm a very good cook. You, you, I bet you got some very good macaroni and cheese. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. See, see, the thing is, on the real tea, the real tea is that just because macaroni and cheese looks or is cheesy, it does not mean it's flavorful. That's right. That's right. You better come on, tell it. That's the tea. That's the tea. I'm telling you, or 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 this will kill me. Somebody who got macaroni and the cheese running away from the noodles. I just can't deal. What has happened? <laughs> I see people yeah. don't know. Yeah, it's yeah. the starch on the noodles that holds <laughs> the cheese. If you eat the noodles, you have just messed up. You got the balls on my noodles. <laughs> Yes, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But yes, I do cook a very good macaroni and dressing. And I just believe I have the faith that when this whole pandemic is over, I'm going to be in the studio and I'm going to eat with your motherfucker. You got yeah. to come back. You got to come to my what area. You in? I am in Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, y'all got good food, especially yes, in we do. Yes, on Myrtle Beach. I mean, we can hit the streets now. We, we ain't got to sit in the studio. We can hit the streets and go eat together. <laughs> yeah, I love your personality. I hope, I hope we, excuse me. I hope when we have a, a future event, you could come up because they be selling out. I will. And I ain't had the following that I have now, so I can imagine how an event going to be now. Yes. I, selling out, I had 30,000 followers. Yes, you do. You do. You do. And I also watch that too. And I'm in that number. So I'm so happy to be in that number. I said, he doesn't even know I follow him like this. He, he, it ain't no way he can tell because you have a, you have a lot of followers. And that's a blessing. That is now, a true blessing in itself. It is. Now, I share this real quick because you said the real tea. And so I just, you know, not throwing nothing off on anybody. But one of the things that, like uh, Miss Catrice said, the pandemic, you know, it pretty much, I don't know what people's beliefs are, and I'm not here to push it down on anybody's throat. But one thing God had um, told me when I had 30,000 followers last year was, he said, continue being the light. Mm -hmm. Don't get on any bandwagons. Mm -hmm. People are going to be drawn to you. When he said that to me, I had 30-something thousand followers. So I asked him, what are those bandwagons? And I'm being very... I'm seasoning my words since we mm -hmm. know this is going to be played all over. So yeah. he told me, don't joke on the president. Mm -hmm. Don't criticize who worships, you know, because during the pandemic, people, some were still going, you know, and then people were catching Corona. He told yeah. me, clear that. Don't joke about the stimulus checks. Don't do none of that. And yeah. I'm telling you last year for a pandemic, mm -hmm. he set us up. Like, yes. He really has blessed me. And by me heeding that and staying out of those bandwagons, mm -hmm. I gained over 100 thousand followers in one in from February to December. 
Yes, absolutely. And it does happen. It happens quickly. Um, we, I watched your followers and they, you know, grow. Um, it, it was amazing to me. I, I got a TikTok page and I really didn't get the I got the TikTok page just because it was something fun to do. Yep. And the next thing you know, my followers were growing by the day. And yep. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is this is amazing right here. This is awesome. So I, I definitely, we, we do touch and agree about that. On, on the realty, I truly do not discuss um, things in that area either. Yeah. No, um, anything, you know, political thing like that. I do interview people of all walks of life. I actually interviewed a philanthropist um, the other day and he talked about, um, you know, things such as, you know, the Jim Crow and things of that nature, but he was very, very clean. Even, you know, I did like, okay, let's keep it clean. Um, because I do not need to be sued at no point in the end, <laughs> never ever. You got the deal, right? Yes, I want to keep it clean because I am going somewhere. Um, and, you know, just by my interactions with different people, I get to talk to people from everywhere. And so, you know, I, I touch and agree with you in that area, you know, and I think that that is that is something that I truly enjoy about your show. Usually when I see you, it is just so warm. I go back and watch them again. You oh. know, when you, you I'll tell you what I just watched just uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. I watched you at the Taco Fest. <laughs> Y'all, it was a Man, you ate that hot stuff. I couldn't believe it. I said, look at this. This boy has stomach could be hurting. Nah. <laughs> yeah. It was a battle of battle of the tacos, local chefs. And yes. the seven, five, seven. I loved it because you see a lot of men in this area who are showing love to one another. And I and mm -hmm. I, I really like that, you know. Yes. But, you know, yes. a lot of times they say we try to pull each other down, but it really show a lot of love here and it just makes you appreciate your area because we always think that only the good stuff come from areas like Cali or New York, not knocking it. Cause right. Know, but it's just I like, it. so yeah. I can't remember got somebody good. You yes, uh, yes. My goal is to put South Carolina on the map. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yes, I definitely love the chair in which I sit in. Um, that's for sure. And I know that there, you know, God is able to do all things. Um, and He has yeah. uh, for me too. And I truly, truly am grateful. It's a wonderful feeling to be able to be in an arena such as this one. So it's awesome. It's awesome. You never know where you're going to end up. I tell yeah. you, never ever know. Never know. So now. Yeah. I've been waiting for this too. You about to crack up? I know you're gonna crack up. Okay. Listen, I heard you. You drank some Coca Cola, and baby, you start singing. You were singing El the Bars. It was What's just you said, chills up my spine every time I take one look at you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were buckling with it for real. Yeah. I started dancing. I said, oh, listen to him. You make me want a Coke. I don't even drink Coke. Really? I done told my husband, baby, please bring me a Coke home. <laughs> you coming home this morning. And it got to have that ice. That, yes. That, that yes. <laughs> I love it. Yes. So look, I have one last question for you. Where do you see Yamo Bucko in five years from now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I see myself with definitely in five years over a million followers, but mm -hmm. not even just really with the followers. I want to do more interacting with my, my followers, having events. Mm -hmm. um, I want to be able to travel more places and experience yeah. more cultures. Like I really want to go to Japan, Dubai. Australia. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I really would love to invest as well. You know, exactly. keep Yamo Buckle, but get into like vending machine, Coca Cola, you know, just different stuff. I want to be able to put my money in different spots because I really, I always want to fall under this umbrella. It was asked to me a long time ago in multi level marketing event. Mm -hmm. You know how you go to the meetings. But yeah. one thing is, if money wasn't an issue, what would you do? And my three things would be I would travel the world, meet new people, and eat. And so now I judge everything based off that. If you okay. remove money, what would you do? And so in five years, you know, hopefully I'll be able to do more in New York. That's like my favorite city. And just um, if I be honest with you, a lot of people trying to put me and say I belong on the Food Network. But I'm like, 
I don't really feel that push. I wouldn't be against it, mm -hmm. but we we could blow up using other platforms. You know, you know, a lot of people mm -hmm. using their phones. A lot of people ain't really, you know, watching TV. I mean, they may. Yeah. You know, they're so. not. They're not. And I'm. I totally believe that because I. Well, well it's the nature yeah. of the beast for me. You know, because I'm. Yeah. I'm pretty much always working. So that keeps me from watching TV. But even even when I have a break, I still don't really watch television. Right. Uh, you know, because there's so many other things that has our attentions. Yeah. Um, these days and things of that nature. So, yes, you are absolutely correct. Did you, is there anything, you are so personable with your, with your fan base. You are, I encourage you to keep up the great work that you're doing. Know mm -hmm. that I'm a buck on buddy and yeah. I'll be watching in the background. Just know that. And yeah. we will see each other again. We're going to meet again once things get, you know, changed. I will be watching for those events. And you can just believe can treats from the real tea is gonna show up. I show up. I am your number one supporter. <laughs> I love, I love your. You're so like Julie. One of the things I love, and I can just imagine if I was to ever meet your followers or whatever, mm -hmm. most of my followers that I meet, they always have the same bubbly personality like you. And so yeah. a lot of people say that's because you're the way you are. I never met anybody that followed me that's like, unless they're shy, I've never met anybody. All the buckle, I mean, from Walmart to Top Golf to on the interstate. Uh -huh. I mean, they'd be everywhere. And like when they see me, like, I don't know. I, I still see myself as a regular person. I tell everybody I'm not better than anybody. I just me found too, something yeah. that I enjoy. Doing. And, you know, it's working for me. But my buckle buddies, they go, they get really excited. Yes, they do. Because I was excited. I couldn't wait to see you. I said, I'm going to get in here early. I'm sitting here 10 minutes and I'm going to sip on me some tea and I'm going to wait on him. Yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed this, though. You know, that's uh -huh. really you got to let me know next time you're on the live so I can. Shout you out, and I. Yes, I, I will. And we gotta get we gotta get together and break bread because I always say we food will. brings people together. And you really yes. want to go on somebody's heart, take them out to eat and let them talk. Oh yes, honey, yes, that's how my husband got me. <laughs> yes, honey, let me tell you, first date it was plenty eating going on. You hear me? I said, boy, I like him. He didn't even care if I dropped the pickle on the plate or nothing. We had just turned out. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I love it. I love it. Yes, yes, absolutely. Is there anything you? Want want to tell my viewers before yeah. we disconnect. Keep on supporting this young lady. I love what she's doing. I'm going to have to check out some of her other content. A lot of times I like my experiences to be authentic. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I don't go and dive into the information. That way what you're getting is me up front, not scripted. Yes. But I, I can see do what you, you know, do what you do. I say, you know, she's going to blow up. I'm going to blow up. I just feel like find your niche. Just ask God to find what you're good at and just mm -hmm. do that and don't try to be like nobody else. That's right. That's right. And as people keep talking about you, remember what's whack to another person can be another person's gold mine. It's so true. That is so true. And I thank you so much for your encouragement. You were absolutely a breath of fresh air. I thank you. And I'm glad to be And we got hey, some king crab legs. Okay. Okay. King crab it is with some corn. I and saw the, that with scissors. I saw that too. You had them scissors going to town on them. Them crab legs was bigger than you. I just want you to know. You yes. you so small. <laughs> I'm trying to get a little belly, but I'm going to work it off. And I think that's probably from drinking sodas and eating late and going, you know. Yeah. I love to engage with my buckle buddy. So, you know, the time normally has been at like 10 o'clock. But yes. I would say too, if I can, like, just make sure y'all click follow. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. And become a buckle buddy. It's free. Yes, yes. It, yeah, it absolutely is. Well, I thank you so much. You take care of yourself. And yes. I will be seeing you around the way. And yes. we will meet one another very soon. Thank you. I'm needing now. Now, even though your name said the real tea name, you make me want to go buy me a sweet tea with extra. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. I'll get you some tea. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, sir. God bless you. You take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>
<laughs> you guys, that was Yum O Bucko, you guys. And now I really enjoy him. I know you guys did. I enjoy him. He is a breath of fresh air. Now for our final sip of tea. Food is always better with others. The very taste changes with one conversation, party, or gathering. We are all in need of that hope today, tomorrow, and forever. Our guests tonight prove that time and time again. So the next time you're eating alone and you need a partner, you can count on Yamo Baco to save the day. God bless you guys and thank you so much for joining The Real Tea. And as usual, if you reach one, you can teach one. Join us next week when we present a bird that sang. God bless you guys. God bless you guys. I totally, totally and really appreciate everybody who supports The Real Tea. God bless. Ooh.